Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. In this video we're going to take a look at a Blazor and the different options that Blazor has. So first let's talk about what is Blazor. According to the uh, Blazor website, Blazor lets you build interactive web UI using C Sharp instead of JavaScript. Blazor apps are composed of reusable web UI components implementing C Sharp, HTML and CSS. Both client and server code is written in C Sharp allowing you to share code and libraries. So basically what that means is we don't have to use JavaScript anymore. It's all C-sharp. So for backend uh, engineers like me, this is great. Uh, one less framework to work with. So a year ago, Microsoft released Blazor Server. And in that inter iteration, everything ran on the server and got rendered there. And um, this week, they released Blazor WebAssembly. So let's look at that and then the different options we have. So to create it, we are creating a new project in the Visual Studio. You have to have the latest Visual Studio, which is 16.6. .6. So let's just create an app. So we're going to click here. We're going to set where we're going to put it. Uh, this one eventually is going to be the app that uh, they did in Silicon Valley, where it's whether a hot dog or not. They call it seafood in there. So let's just call it the app. And we're just going to create it. So in here it lets you do different things. So the server app, that's the one that I talked about. Then WebAssembly, that's the one that it just got re uh, released. So in here that you have different options. So you can set up authentication. Uh, for this one, we're not going to set up authentication. Then you can have uh, that it's a static website, so basically you can run it, you, you know, you, sh you throw the files into an S3 bucket or an Azure Blob storage or an Azure static website, and it's just like a single page, no compute on server uh, page. We don't want that, so we're going to click the ASP.NET Core hosted, and then we're going to click at a progressive app just so we can see what that is. So basically progressive app makes it that you can download kind of like the web app, and run it as a native app, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and create that. And this is gonna create three different projects. So you're gonna have the client project that that runs um, on the user's machine. So in here, it's all the stuff that it's gonna render. So like, if you can see here, it's the pages and the shared, and here we can see a Razor page and you have, well, I chose index. You have HTML and you can mix in some C sharp, so it makes it amazing to, to, to develop stuff. You can either have the code here or you can create an, a, a full, uh, just like a .cs page and have the code there and then just have this inherit that. Um, we'll go into that in more detail in different videos. So then you have the server. So this is what runs on the server. So in here you have your controllers. If you're doing authentication and everything, all the validation should be doing be done here. This gets sent to the user. So you could assume anything in the in the client is public. People can uncompile and like they can mess with it. So all validation should always be done in the server. And uh, so in here you have your controllers, you have your regular startup, you have your pages, and then you have shared. So shared is stuff that you're going to share between the two. So for example, models. So this model gets used in the client and the server. So it's something that gets used in both. If you have some validation or some other stuff that might be you get used in both, it's easier to put it in the shared project and then you can use it. both of these projects to uh, import this project, so you, you, you can use it. And we can see it here. So if we go uh, to fetch data using hot dog app shared. So let's run it and see how it looks. So this is just going to be the default app. We haven't changed anything. All right, so we can see that it's just a regular Blazor app. This is a sample app, so you have the counter you can click and count and you have to fetch data and it'll get the data 
but if you notice at the top there is this plus sign and that's install the hot dog app so if I install it it actually installs and it looks like a Windows app so if you look at it it actually looks like a Windows app and uh, like if I look for it it's here I can pin it to my taskbar can do everything so like for example like I'm just gonna close it and open it up again and it just opens so you could have it be native and it gets installed on cell phones as well so like it, it can look like an app if you install it in a Mac it's gonna look more like a Mac app instead of a Windows app so this is what the progressive does and you can have it so then it comes to your code like you can have it that it can work fully offline you can make it that it, you can install it but you still need connection and like nothing gets stored locally or you can make it that it works intermittently so let's say uh, the example they used in, in build was they had like a repair like a car repair app so like in the phone you could use it and if it couldn't connect to the internet it would store everything locally and once it connected it would update everything so uh, you you can do that with your code so that's basically it this is the first look at blazor web apps in the next videos we're actually going to look at ml.net and we're keep uh, building this up so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one